Okay, so this war got off to a pretty rocky start with losing that first battle. I got... I'm gonna be honest, I kind of was shitting my pants for a second there. Um, but we, I think we've got it under control now. We still have to, you know, make sure... We still have to finish them off. They, they're still very much in this war. It, it's definitely not over. So unfortunately, I actually lost the last six months of this last war. Uh, good thing I have auto saves on. I did lo lose the initial save, uh, but you know that's why I have auto saves for every single turn. That's why I have to, because you know the digital era isn't the best thing ever. Computers still do some stupid stuff, and uh, yeah, so it's not, not a big deal. But I seem to be doing a lot better now. We were only three. I think we we think the last video we stopped at about. Uh, August and now we're in April so yeah we're, we're a little bit few we're a few months behind and there isn't much left of of this tribe's army however uh, Totonac has still two regiments up uh, but they all have still a lot of manpower now the problem is and the thing that I was trying to do in the last video is I'm trying to hopefully carpet siege these guys and by the time I carpet siege them I don't think they're going to be able to get a lot of regiments. The problem, here's the problem with carpet sieging though, is that I don't think I have enough regiments. I might, I might not, but I don't know if I have enough carpet uh, regiments to completely carpet siege them out. So let's say I, I begin to carpet siege um, everything over this way towards the east, as well as uh, Texaco. I know that they're not called Texaco, but I really want to nickname this tribe Texaco because... You know, at Texaco, at the gas station. I mean, I need, I want to, I don't know, it just, it just seems perfect, and I have no idea how to pronunciate this word. Uh, forgive me for my just stupid arrogance, but uh, I, I do like that nickname, so I'm going to call this Texaco. Um, so the problem is that I need to siege everyone out because, you know, all the tribes still have a bunch of manpower still left. And we have to be really, really careful because this tribe here is hostile towards us. They don't like us. They could easily really screw us at any point and join in against us on the war. Obviously, they're not allied to Texaco. However, they could just go in by themselves, balls deep, try to get, you know, way deep inside of us. Uh, and we don't want that to happen, clearly. So um, let's go ahead and check the ledger and see exactly what's going on. First of all, Texaco and Aztecs, they don't got anything going on. They've got zero Tex... Uh, I'm sorry, they've got zero total um, military right now. But look, they still have so much more manpower. The only person that's left is Toto Neck. They also have a pretty good amount of manpower. So we don't worry, worry about the Aztecs right now. Uh, what I think I should do is leave the Aztec lands pretty much, you know, for the most part, uncovered. Maybe let the vassals go in and, and you know, maybe siege them out. Try their best. You know, vassals aren't very smart at, at I don't know, strategical placement of, of units. But still, they're, they're, they're good enough. So, and there's so much land, it's going to be hard for them. It's like right next to their own provinces. So I think that it's it's way better. I think the AI is going to be able to pro program this, uh, themselves to siege out a province that's right next to them rather than, you know, up here, uh, north of Totonac. So we're going to try our best. We'll see. Let's, uh, what we're going to do. Let me see. Let me, uh, let me combine and split. We definitely have to start sieging these guys out. Uh, Totonac's final troops, these two regiments, I think have been shattered. Oh, and looks like we might win it right now. Yep. We might just win it right now. Yeah, no, but you didn't, I mean, there's really nothing that you missed. Uh, I, I, with the save that I had, I had lost, I mean, nothing, nothing new really happened except, uh, well, except for, like, I think instead of, instead of carpet sieging, I just ran after them and, and got them. Uh, I tried to carpet siege too early on in that last video, and, uh, I mean, it doesn't matter. We were going to win whether this way, whether it was, you know, the way we did it before or the way we did it after. Uh, either way really doesn't make a difference. But, um... Let's let's begin to carpet teach now. Oh 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 damn! I'm not in my own territory, so I cannot assign my general. Ouch. Okay, I didn't think about that. Okay, what I might have to do. Well, we're safe now. Well, there's one Aztec group of of regiments, at least one. Here, what I might here. This is what I'm gonna do. I am going to actually send this guy back briefly. He's going to go back to my lands briefly. I'm going to split him up. Put both my my ruler as well as just my regular old general inside. Uh, oh, oh, actually, you do have... Okay, so what we'll do is we'll split you, and the one that doesn't have anything... Yeah, there you go. Boom, like that. Perfect. And then we got it. We got it. And we need to go and make sure that we carpet siege here. Oh, actually, we're going to have enough regiments to do this. I think we're going to have enough uh, regiments definitely to do this. Let me try to make sure that my good general... Let's see, you're 2 2, two and then we have a 2 one two. Oh, 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 he's got more siege, though. Okay, I'm going to select him. We're going to go up this way. If we siege out capitals first, that would be good. Uh, that would be... Probably the best deal. Uh-oh. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I cannot let this happen. Let's let's combine, detach enough to siege, just barely enough. And let's make sure that we take out this small group of men that are trying to form up here. Because uh, that would be bad. We're going to get ourselves in the same situation we were in the last video. Where uh, 
We allow these this tribe to regang their military. Can't let that happen. Uh, we are getting... Uh, that terrain penalty sucks. Just everything in, in this whole area is just jungle. There's like no just regular plains or grasslands or anything like that. So yeah, we need to... We need to make sure that, you know... Yes, carpet sieging is important, but if we have to, we need to stop carpet sieging and, and take out their troops. Uh, this is killing just raw manpower. Look, bam, that's a thousand men that they've lost. That's huge. Uh-oh. Uh, June 10th. We still have a few more days. I hope we win this. Oh, we got it. We got it. Okay. Bring it on. So they still have two there. Uh, I guess what I'll do here, let's, let's go ahead and form an army to take out the, the last remaining Aztecs. And this should be good. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. I don't like that. There we go. There we go. Go after him. Go after him. Detach enough to siege, and we'll come after them. Look at this dude. Oh, my God. This guy's totally wearing a onesie. Wow. I like it. I like that style. He's rocking it. I mean, he's killing motherfuckers in a onesie. Like, I don't want to... Anybody in a onesie has got something mentally wrong with them, so I feel like I would be terrified to see that on the battlefield. The fact that this guy's got so much confidence... To be running a running a onesie within a in a in a war, that's terrifying. That's true insanity. I wouldn't mind. Is someone gonna come help me? I don't think so. Uh, let's send in some reinforcements because clearly my vassals don't give a heck. They don't give a shit about me. Please get there in time. This might go incredibly like just terrible for me. I mean, we are attacking. We're getting that penalty a little bit. Okay, that should be enough. Come on, three thousand versus one thousand, and I've got. Uh, better, a slightly, slightly better shock general with you. Yeah, you got it, you got it. It's just two speeds. Sometimes I forget. Sometimes I, uh, you know, the wars on two speed go considerably slower than uh, anything else here. I guess we'll chase him down and try to tackle him. Okay, so we only got one province that is unseized. We're good. We got this. We got to be careful of the wild card here. I wish I could nickname this guy as well. I need a nickname. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 that native. Those natives just totally took out. The last remaining Aztecs. That's awesome. I mean, it's funny because we're natives as well, but even more native than us helped us out. And uh, when they ran over this way to this province, they got they got destroyed. That's why we saw them briefly for a second there. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, we're losing a lot of ducats. Okay, yeah, we're losing quite a few ducats. Accumulate money. 109. Yeah, we're not going to get that. Yeah, we can't go with any of these missions. I wish I could. What's going on here? Oh my gosh, I still have a 24% chance of uprising without the Zapotec. I might need to increase the autonomy. It's not that big of a deal because that land is already going to be released as soon as I reform my religion. So I don't mind at all increasing the, increasing the autonomy. That is not a priority. Obviously, I cannot increase my autonomy around this region. That would be bad. Um, but anything like like here or at the ends where like the other Mayan city-states are at, we can go ahead and increase autonomy and not have to worry about it too much because I believe it's going to go back in their hands and then when we take it it automatically it defaults to 50 I believe it defaults to 50 I'm not 100% on that number I could be smoking crack but it just it defaults to whatever number uh, the autonomy you know goes to whenever you take a province so I believe I did some, some experiments with that in my separate campaign so we'll see but yep they're completely sieged out let's go increase the speed and uh, rush through this oh no oh, okay good 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 I got afraid there because the wild card actually, I thought the wild card had declared war on one of my vassals because that would have pulled us down since we are obviously the leader of our vassals. All right, so let's make sure that our our stupid, oh, finally a night, oh, shit. Okay, wait a second. First of all, I got to keep in mind that when I reform my religion, I'm going to lose stability. This would be nice, but I don't really need the prestige. I, well, I could use the prestige, but I'm going to get a bunch of prestige when we peace out. I don't really need the administrative power. Um, 10 army tradition, 10 navy tradition, and 100 military power. I, I, don't, I think I need this. Because what's my, what's my arm? The navy tradition obviously doesn't do anything for me. But the armor tradition right now is at 23.6. That's a, that's, a, that's a pretty good amount. And the, uh, the 100 military power is definitely welcome. That way we're able to get up to uh, tech 2. Yeah, let's do it. Awesome. So now we're at 33.6. Really cool. And we just ganged a whole, a whole bunch of war score. A whole bunch of war score. Perfect. This is going great. I cannot... Oh, yeah, yeah. Good. Now we get to uh, two military. We get extra infantry shock and cavalry shock. That's significant. That's why this tribe was doing so good. They they had a pretty significant bonus over us. Uh, so we're good now. I cannot... I need to remember, do not, Drew, do not get the administrative technology too. I'm going to need those administrative points because I think I have a plan. I believe I have a plan that's going to work, that I'm going to hopefully avoid some pretty big troubles uh, when reforming and having to wait for those 15-year truce. 
How's this doing? It's at 50. Dang it. I kind of don't want to increase the autonomy, but at 23.7%, uh, I probably should. Nope, I will not. I can't do it. I'm going to need those administrative points. I can't go down to zero, even though technically we're doing 10. Of, oh, we're doing only nine a month. When do I get to change the natural focus? I really am regretting <laughs> having so much administrative power. I mean, it's nice, but uh, 1481. We have two more years. Okay, not bad. Two more years. Let's just wait for this force speed to, to, to finish up. Oh, man, you guys have a good amount of forces here. Uh, I guess I'll leave you. Uh, you, oh man, wait a second. Mmm, I can't, yeah, no, I can't wait any longer. I was thinking for a split second, maybe just quickly, boom, go to war with them, take out all of their army. That way, everyone starts fresh. Everyone starts with about nothing. I'm afraid that when I, re when I release everybody and they have like literally nothing, that these guys are going to dominate. I don't want that. We got to keep it equal. We have to keep it equal. But then again, wait a second. I forgot about my plan. I'm kind of keeping my plan a secret. And you know what? It's not necessarily my plan. I like to give the credit to uh, Maris Go Goes. I don't know if that's a. Uh, I don't know if that's like a shortage of his name. Maybe G Gomez. But anyways, he's a genius. In the comment section below, he suggested, and I guess uh, his campaign was that he took Mexico away from the Aztecs and he changed his capital to Mexico. That is freaking genius. You are a genius, buddy. And that's what I'm going to attempt to do. I'm going to attempt, and I don't know, I might have to go into a second war after I release these two vassals uh, from Texaco here. I might have to go to, to a separate war with the Aztecs, uh, even though I don't know how long the truce is going to be. Um, and, and to take this, I, I don't know if I can pull this off. We'll see. We'll see. Let, let me see right now. But uh, he took Mexico and then changed his capital. That way, when, when he reformed his religion, he obviously has to keep his capital. And... Uh, and, and we're going to see if that works. That way, we'd have one province in the north, and we'd be able to go to war with just about anybody. We don't have to worry about the 15-year truce with stupid Zapotec after the reform. I'm telling you, that's such a stupid, stupid thing. So can I? I can. I can take these two provinces. I can have you cancel. Okay, well, wait a second. If I, if I take these two provinces, though... Because I'm going to lose this province no matter what. I've got to take this province because I don't believe I can core unless it's connected. I'm pretty sure natives have a pretty low uh, distance, like coring distance or whatever that's called. Where would I find that at? I believe it's somewhere here. Yeah. Global settler rate, colonial range, administrative efficiency. I don't know exactly where this number is, my, uh, my core range or whatever it is. Would it be here? War exhaustion. I don't know, but I'm, I'm not going to take the chance. Now, I'm going to have to take two of these guys. I will have to take... Wait, let's go back to that... Uh, let's go go back to, out to that peace, peace screen. So, boom. We'd have to take these two provinces because I just need I just need to be touching in order to core it. Um, and then we'll core it. And obviously, we're going to lose this piece of land. That's fine. It's not a big deal. Uh, you can at least va uh, cancel your your, annex your vassalization of Totonac. That's, that's a pretty good amount. It's still going to make these guys, these guys are going to be pretty still, still pretty powerful though. I got to keep that in mind. These guys are going to be still pretty powerful. Well, we could maybe ally a couple of uh, our former vassals after we reform our religion. That might not be a bad idea. I think this is the way to go though. I'm only at, I, I got 100% war score. I could do a lot. Now, I don't know exactly if I have to give up my war reparations after the reform or the trade, uh, the transfer trade power. It would be nice. I feel like I feel like I'm gonna give it up, but then again, you know what? I'm pretty sure I remember the window saying that uh, you have to cancel your you have to cancel all subject nations. I don't think it says anything about trade power or war reparations. And this would help being a small nation uh, getting this extra ducats would be pretty useful. It's either that or a forced religion on somebody else. That's not a bad idea either. Uh, but then again, we don't get anything really out of that. I mean, yeah, we have to spend less time sending our missionary out there eventually and, you know, spending a little bit less unrest uh, at some point when we do control this entire region. But more than likely, I don't know. I think that's not worth it. Like, we might as well try it. Let's try to get all this. Maybe uh, maybe just transfer trade power. Okay. We're just a little bit over. Man, we're only 2% war score over. There's nothing we can do. We have to do this here. Okay, so what I'll do... <sighs> Okay, so what I'll do is I'll get the war operations, and I'll take all your ducats. Oh, and you've got a lot of ducats. Perfect. Holy crap, you got a lot of ducats. Okay, perfect. This is it. So uh, this does significantly injure this tribe, Texaco. doesn't injure them a lot, lot. It doesn't, like, hurt them that much. 
Wait a second, wait a second here. I could require the Aztecs to become my vassal for a little bit. That would, perfect. Oh, wait a second here. This is awesome because now I am still, I'm still, I'm taking the, the Aztecs for ourselves as my own vassal because I can't do it in this council, council subject nations window. This is going to work out, I think. And we get a bunch of ducats back still. Fine. And uh, yes, that worked. Look at all of this, baby. Wow, we've got a lot of power. Uh, we've got a lot of power. This is gonna work. I think it's gonna work. I don't wanna. I don't wanna get too excited because I don't know if it's gonna work exactly. But we'll see. Now I need to core Mexico and make sure that I tr I make this my my new capital. Oh wait a second. Did did I, no? I didn't automatically do it. No, I'm smoking crack. Click here to move your capital. Yeah, so I have to core it first before I can actually move my capital. So let me go ahead and do that. Manage. We have to. Dang, that's a lot of administrative power. The good thing I didn't uh, get that next technology. Why is that? You have. Yeah, you've got a lot of base tax. Holy crap. Let me look at my base tax map. Uh, my base tax economic map mode. There we go. Yeah, that's that's practically the best province in the game. So perfect. It does work out that I'm changing my. It's not like just for no bullshit reason to be changing my capital to uh, Mexico. It's, it's for a very, very good reason. Cool. This is going to help out a ton. Okay, so now we just have to wait. Uh, now, the second thing I need to, do, need to do and make sure that do I have a supply, a supply limit of 22. So I'm going to bring all of my forces because we're going to originate all of my wars from Mexico. I'm not worried about my mainland where all my provinces are going to be. We're going to be pretty safe there, I, I believe. Um, the problem is, oh, we just got a bunch of claims. Perfect. The problem is Mexico. If anyone's going to declare war on us, it's going to be from Mexico. Zapotec, I don't think, is going to be able to do it. Uh, liberty, desire, okay, that's fine. Just, just stay cool until we reform. Just stay cool until we reform and then, and then we're all good. Let's, hmm, I'm, yeah, you know what, I might as well do it. Let's, let's go ahead and just increase the uh, autonomy in the Zapotec region. It doesn't even matter, uh, because we have to release this stuff anyways. So let's get rid of, what else is Zapotec? Here, this, yeah, these four. Okay, so that should do a significant damage to... Yeah, it's only at 8.8 .8 now. Because we still have to worry about... Yeah, see, the Aztec... Defect to Aztecs. Uh, that's it. That uprising chance is 23.1. So that's a pretty significant amount. Um, nope, nope, nope. Wait a second. Are you still at war? You still are at war. I I hope that you're able to... You're going to... Oh, man. These guys are going to be tough. How long until we have to wait? We have to wait until 1482. There's a part of me that wants to just go over here and wipe them. Wipe them clean. Wait a second. Why didn't we join in? Oh, oh, never mind. You're not... Okay, never mind. I got really confused. I thought you... So this tribe did not declare war on the Aztecs. They declared war on Texaco tribe. They are not going to be able to get military access to Rust. Definitely not. I was afraid that they were at war with the Aztecs. That would mean that we would join in on the war. Actually, that would be good. I would like that. Um, because I'd like to just go over there, wipe out all the troops, wipe out all their manpower. That would be nice. Uh, especially while we wait. I'm kind of considering that, honestly. Just go over there. I mean, we're not doing anything, and it wouldn't cost us anything. It's We don't have a truce with them. Uh, we don't have a truce with them or anything. And, and we have to wait anyways. Oh, I'm considering it. Just boom, maybe get some ducats, maybe get some uh, war operations. We have to wait. We have to wait three years anyway. Let's go ahead and do it. We've got all the vassals in the world right now that are going to come and help us out. Let's go ahead and do it. Um... Yeah, we don't have to pay for it. We don't have to pay for this. Let's go for it. Let's go up in there. And we, let's just try to be as efficient as we can. We've got to wait anyways. I'll keep it at four speed, though. I mean, all we're going to do is go and wipe them out. That's all we're trying to do. Uh, we're just trying to wipe these guys clean. Here, I'll, I'll do this. I'll split. The eight sack will go this way. And uh, that should be good enough. I think this is the right choice. I honestly do. Just to go in here, wipe their, wipe their army out, maybe get some war operations, maybe get some ducats right before we, uh, we, we reform and become this very weak nation. It's, it is kind of hard to be efficient when I'm at four speed, I will say. All right, guys, I'm going to have to stop right there. This is going to be very, very interesting. I'm, I'm so excited to see if this works. I believe it will. Boom, that's 16 war score, and we're already sieging out everything they've got. Let me make sure. Oh, I'll have to wait till next time. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. We're about to reform in the next video. I'm excited. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.